is uh, Weijin Luo. Uh, he's going to talk to us about uh, R and uh, how to integrate path view data and visualize them. Please. Thank you, Ro. <coughs> um, hello, everyone. Um, first, uh, self-introduction. My name is Weijin Luo. I work with UNC Charlotte, Department of Bioinformatics and Genomics. I am also part of Bio, uh, Informatics Service Division. I think it's on. <clears throat> Today I'm talking about uh, a new tool we developed for pathway-based data integration and visualization. It's called PathView. Um, for this talk, first I will give you an overview of PathView and then I will cover three major features of PathView one by one in detail, and then I will talk about implementation and impact of PassView. Um, first overview. PassView is a R bioconductor package uh, we recently developed. Uh, it was uh, published last year with Bioinformatics. PassView provides three major functionality which, has, which was rarely, rarely implemented well previously. First, the pass view visualizes uh, user data on top of pathway diagram. <clears throat> and we use CAG uh, pathway definition and uh, uh, CAG uh, pathway diagram. Uh, these are very informative and uh, it is very easy to read and interpret. Pass view produces high quality um, uh, pathway diagram with user data, which is ready for publication. Second, PassView provides very strong data integration capacity. <clears throat> you can work with a large variety of different data types, formats, attributes. You can work with numerous uh, molecular gene ID types, thousands of species. And uh, <clears throat> third, PassView is open source, which enables automa automated and integrated pathway analysis for uh, numerous omics uh, data types. This diagram shows you the internal uh, design of PassView. PassView has, has four um, functional modules, the downloader, the parser, the mapper, and the viewer. It is this four module that takes care of the hard work and the tedious work in the back end. And uh, in the front end, we provide a main function. The user only need to call this main function PassView and pass their user data and specify their interesting uh, pathway name and uh, their work gets done. It's that easy. <clears throat> so in the next few sections, I will talk about uh, uh, the three main uh, features provided in PassView. Uh, first, uh, let's look at the basic visualization. <clears throat> PassView provides two uh, graph output styles. The first style is called CAG view. Um, where we essentially use the native CAG pathway diagram. Uh, these graphs keep all the uh, metadata, um, including uh, the temporal spatial information, and the uh, cell tissue types, and all the connections, inputs, outputs. Um, with uh, these lots of information, it's very easy to understand and interpret the biology. <coughs> The, the second output graph style is called graph with view, where we lay out the pathway um, diagram from scratch use, using graph with engine. <clears throat> this way you can have more control over uh, nodes or age attributes. You can have a better view of the uh, pathway topology and uh, the uh, analysis statistics. The second important feature provided by PassView is its strong data integration and the handling ca capacity. So you can integrate multiple types of uh, molecular data in the same pathway. This is a metabolic uh, pathway. Here we, pl we in in integrated both gene data uh, in rectangular boxes as well as uh, compound data uh, in, in circles. Um, here, gene data is a broad concept which including genes, uh, proteins, enzymes, transcripts, etc. Compound data is the same, which include compound metabolites, 
uh, small molecules, drugs, etc. You can actually go further and integrate multiple samples experiments, assays, data types, or time series uh, in the same diagram. Uh, here, uh, pass view automatically split each boxes or nodes into multiple pieces corresponding to the number of samples or experiments uh, the user included in their input data. The same way, we can use graph view to, for such intensive data integration. Notice that your gene data and your compound data, the sample size or the number of experiments you include don't have to be the same. <clears throat> Pass view also uh, supports different uh, types of data attributes. In this diagram, uh, gene data are counts which are discrete positive numbers in one direction, while compound data are uh, uh, fold changes, which are continuous, changing in both directions. So <clears throat> an important and unique feature of past view is that it supports over 3,000 CAC species, essentially all the species which have their genome fully sequenced. Uh, here is a table of um, uh, most commonly studied species. You may sp specify your species using either CAC species code, scientific name, common name, and for these ma major research species, uh, we support uh, 12 different gene ID types. For all other species, you can either um, use Anjus gene ID or CAC gene ID. So besides in individual species, CAC uh, pass view also support CAC ocelot, which is a set of pathway definition where genes are um, ocelot, ocelot groups. Therefore, you can actually map your cross species or multi species data into such pathway diagrams. In other words, you can use pass view uh, to visualize or analyze your metagenomics or microbiome uh, data. Uh, the third important feature provided in PassView is that it, um, it's open source, it makes integrated uh, pathway analysis um, easy and simple for um, many different uh, omics data types. Pathway analysis has been widely applied to uh, all these different types of uh, omics data and the uh, PassView can visualize all of these uh, uh, analyze <coughs> analysis and showing red colored are those where pass view has already been applied to. Um, pass view works with many different types of pathway analysis tools. And here I'll give you a list where uh, they already incorporate pass view in their workflow uh, for visualization or they already work with pass view in literature work. <clears throat> So here is an example. Uh, we developed another tool called Gauge for pathway analysis. And the uh, pathway works very well with Gauge. We have documented multiple workflows for um, either microarray or RNA-seq data analysis. This diagram shows you the uh, RNA-seq workflow. This is probably uh, the first uh, full RNA-seq uh, pathway analysis workflow ever documented. <clears throat> this workflow covers from reads mapping, um, uh, reads counting, data pre-processing, uh, gene set test uh, and the pathway visualization. You can use this workflow for pathway analysis, gene ontology analysis, as well as other types of gene set analysis. And uh, uh, besides, you don't have to stick to the main uh, default workflow. You can use the joint workflow, uh, and uh, you know instead you can use the your favorite tools like DSEQ, HR, Lima, etc. for the gene level differential uh, expression testing, and then feed your data into gauge and the pass view for gene set or pathway level analysis and the visualization. <coughs> um, oh, by the way, this. Uh, this uh, 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 workflow is documented in uh, Gauge package and uh, you can Google it. 
So implementation and the impact. Well, past view is written in R and Bioconductor. It was originally released uh, uh, last year, April last year. It has experienced uh, multiple major updates. And the past view runs on all major operating systems uh, together with R. And uh, we provide complete documentation and uh, help information. Importantly, past view is um, um, still actively maintained and continuously improved. And uh, um, it is uh, released through Bioconductor. And you can Google it. And you will hit the Bioconductor Pass View information page where you can find all the information, the instructions, and the documentations. Um, Pass View has achieved a global impact within a short time. And uh, um, it was listed as a most read article by Bioinformatics Journal uh, for five consecutive months last year. And uh, um, Many tools have been developed uh, depending or suggesting past view. And we received uh, about 10,000 downloads uh, in the past year. And uh, we got hundreds of inquiries and refers through emails, major bioinformatics forums, and uh, online blogs tutorials. And the past view actually has been adopted by uh, multiple courses offered through at reg uh, major research institutions. Uh, here is a list of examples. And uh, past view also makes its way to industrial products and services. This, uh, this company is called uh, NanoStrain, it's an independent company. And they use past view in their latest uh, products called the Pan Cancer Pathway Panel. <coughs> So uh, we are always working hard to further improve pass view. For instance, um, uh, we, are, we keep developing the R Bioconductor interface to make it uh, more useful and user friendly. And uh, uh, we are also adding multiple other user interface, like the web interface, the Galaxy interface. And uh, we are adding support, we are adding con more control um, uh, over nodes and the edge attributes, particularly under CAC view uh, mode. And, uh, and uh, we may also provide support to databases other than CAC. Um, so I guess I'm a little ahead of time. Um, let me give you a, a recapture of the pass view. Um, pass view is an arc bioconductor uh, package. Uh, published last year, and it provides three important functionalities. Uh, um, first, it can visualize user data on pathway diagrams. Uh, second, it um, actually provides strong data integration capability, and you can uh, uh, work with a large variety of different data types, formats, uh, uh, molecular IDs, and uh, um, species. Third, it actually enables integrated uh, pathway analysis workflow for multiple types of omics data. Finally, it actually generated um, global impact and was uh, widely used in academia and the industry. And uh, I would like to take this uh, chance to express my thanks to these groups and organizations. UNC Charlotte, the uh, Department of Bioinformatics and Genomics particularly my colleagues at Bioinformatics Service Division for their help and the critics on this talk and this work. And thanks also to R and Bioconductor teams and uh, Gage Passview users worldwide. And the, finally, I would like also thank uh, to the uh, BOSC uh, uh, Organization Committee for their uh, for this uh, for this uh, great opportunity. And finally, thanks to all of you for your time and attention. I'm ready to take questions and uh, comments. Thank you. Questions? I have one so, question. You showed some nice figures uh, looking at keg plots. How do you get the data from keg, given that they've unfortunately had to stop offering free downloads? Uh, that's a good one. CAG closed, does, did close the massive uh, data access through um, FTP, you know, but they actually open uh, 
API access for programmers. You don't have, you, do, you can't download massive data this way, but you can pull, you know, a significant amount of data automatically. Okay, so it's their REST API for one part of the Search Google CAG REST, REST. Yeah. Okay, that's Thank the you. API. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Uh, you say that you are going to integrate your software in the web interface, right? Are you going to include also uh, interactive visualization system? Because when you are going to collect a lot of data, maybe everything uh -huh. can be clanky. Uh -huh. uh, um, um, I think uh, I interactive visualization is a is an advanced concept. Uh, you know, it's cool, but um, we may or may not have the the resources for uh, implement that uh, future. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So the the next speaker is. Uh,